Hi, this is Helena with Practical Product Reviews, and what I've got here with me today is Pile, the new 7 inch double den touchscreen multimedia that center. will uh, serve as the all in one console that will play videos, that will um, allow us to see photos, that will allow us to listen to music, and will give us Bluetooth functionality with a built in mic when we're in our old minivan, which is what we used to go camping a lot of times. So as you can imagine, when I was offered this product at a discount in exchange for my honest review, I was quite excited. Now, opening the box, you will see that it is well packaged. Here we have the um, kit, essentially, as you can see in the back, which this includes our wire harness, which I really, really like because everything is very well labeled. The multi-function remote control base plate, warranty information, and my installation guide and user's manual. Now, just to give you an idea, because I did take a sneak peek, this um, is very informative. It's got color coding, a very nicely laid out diagram that is easily understandable, as well as how it actually functions and how to operate it. Now, what I'm gonna do is speed this up. To get this out of the box. Here is my harness, but I'm not going to necessarily need this, I don't believe, because it is a factory radio currently in there. This was very well packaged. I do appreciate that. And this is the actual receiver itself. So as you can see, I've also got all the buttons here that I would need on the front. But one thing notable is it's got a built-in mic, so I'm not going to have to worry about hooking up anything extra for microphone controls. And I won't have to use my phone or any other device to be able to utilize the Bluetooth feature. Now this does come down, which we will see in the operation of it. On the back, it's very simple. This is for any auxiliary um, equipment I might have, such as a subwoofer, which would go here, and additional speakers. Now you can see here, which I also very much appreciate, is because of the diagram, so that I don't necessarily have to refer to the, the user's manual anytime that I need more information. So what we'll do is bring this outside, get it installed, see how it functions. Before we get anything started with the radio, there's two things that have to happen. First of all, these top screws and this paper need to come off, which is easy enough. So now I've got that piece of paper off, but before I can install it, what I need to do um, is go over there up to the hood and disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. So as you can see, I've got my dash taken completely off. I've gotten all of my wires together did not need an adapter. I used the original one that was in there. You can see that these are nicely um, tied off. I do have my antenna wire here which will plug into the radio button on the back and my plug here which will plug into the back of the unit. And those will be the only two pieces that I will plug into my pile receiver. What I'm doing is getting the brackets um, off of this piece, the original ones, as you can see, it still has them, and putting it on the um, pile speaker or pile stereo now. For the brackets, what I've got to do is make sure that they're lined up exactly as they should be. And on here, it does say that I use a five millimeter maximum screw length. By doing that, I um, won't damage the internal components of the receiver itself. So right now I'm just showing you that I've got my mounts on each side. I am going to, from here, screw the mounts back onto the bracket and then we'll insert it into the console. Okay, so I'm giving up on trying to get the camera or the mount to stay still. I am attempting to insert the harness into the unit with one hand. There we go, I heard a click. I've got the harness securely in there and I am going to 
stretch this antenna over and get that popped right in the radio spot. Now, logically speaking, this would have been the easiest angle for me to film the installation. But again, there you see my harness and my antenna plugged in. And we're going to put the unit again back into the dash. Okay, so there is the unit actually installed into the dash. One thing I would like to add is that I am not particularly liking the way that this unit is sitting in the dash um, because as a DVD player, this is a vehicle again that we're going to be camping in. So to watch movies and things of that sort, for anyone who might be lying in the back, it could be a little challenging to see however that is no fault at all um on the unit it's just the way that the dash is made and um the way that it's sitting in perhaps i can take it out make some adjustments but for right now we are ma mainly concerned with does it work Yay! Okay, we've got power. It's definitely a plus to show you some of the aspects of operation. We do see that it is touch screen. If I push the eject button, you notice that it does open up. And let me lift this up. There you can see it has the option for a disc or an SD card, which is a great um, benefit to have. And there it automatically closed. Okay, now the quality might not be that great, but I do want to show you some other features of the unit. Um, here is where if you were to insert a disc, of course it says no disc at the top, where if you want to play by USB, of course you can do that. If you have a backup camera installed, which this says no video signal, then um, you would be able to do that. Calibration, you can calibrate it, well, self-calibrate it. Um, but that's it, I mean, it's calibrating now. I'm gonna go ahead, cancel calibration, and um, I can see my information there. Just so you know, I can always go back home. And there are other settings, such as my sound. I um, do have it on mute, by the way, to play no sound. So I think that's best for the purpose of the video. Now to go back, you would either press the back button or you would press the home button. Either way, we'll get you to the same place. If you're connected to the steering wheel, well, that's what you would do there. Um, Bluetooth, if I press settings, it does have the car kit where if I was to look for it and then once I connect to a device I can either auto and I can set it for auto answer or auto connect or however I choose to do it um other options of this I mean it has plenty and roll it over to see what else I have here is a calendar so um those are my options there here's of course settings where I can do different settings with my radio um, video again I have not played with any of this yet so I can't really tell you how um, to set those things up I wish I could show you more but I have not learned it yet I just put it in and I'm gonna be playing with it for some time so there you go um, that's the pile that um, the pile 7 inch double den the uh, touchscreen multimedia device Thank you, and I hope that I was helpful in um, showing you how it functions as well as how it is installed. Thank you, and have a great evening.